What's going on FNAF fans, Dorco back again and today we are going to talk about Gil's latest teasers on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Now if you didn't know folks, Gil Kennan is the director of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie and on his Twitter and Instagram if you didn't know, he has been revealing lots of secrets about what the movie is going to be about. First off, about 10 days ago, he tweeted a picture about curtains. Now, for a start, folks, I personally think that these are just experiments. Gil is going to animatronic locations to get some inspiration for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie because a lot of people were saying this was to do, a, this is a replica of Fox's Pirate Cove curtain in Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's not. If you have a look at it, it's in a absolute terrible state and it's in Spanish at the bottom for a start and it's got it doesn't look anything like Pirate's Cove folks I know a lot of people were saying oh my god Gil's made Pirate Cove for a start folks he's still writing the film He's just going to be experimenting and looking for inspiration for the movie. He's also been tweeting stuff about the arcade, just to show that Five Nights at Freddy's at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, there will probably be an arcade place just like Chuck E. Cheese. About two days ago, he tweeted a massive eyeball, and he's been to the Creature Shop. The Creature Shop is actually working with Gil to create the animatronics, and that eyeball looks really awesome. But somebody tweeted if this has to do with Foxy, and Gil kind of hinted that this is to do with Foxy. But like I said, folks, he's just experimenting, because if you actually go on his Instagram, he actually has the box of eyeballs there just to show that he is just testing with the animatronics what the, what to see what they look like. And also, he tweeted an owl animatronic back at the creature, sh creature shop. It's just a prototype of animatronics, so Gil can get some inspiration on what the animatronics need to look like and what the mechanics need to be. And finally, yesterday, he tweeted, Let's celebrate, Decay. Okay? And it's actually an image of an animatronic endoskeleton prototype where you can see its teeth. And you can actually see its eyeballs at the top there as well. Like I said, folks, I feel like Gil is just experimenting with the animatronics, what, what he wants them to look like. This could be something he's made himself, or it's actually just something he saw on the shelves at the creature shop. Like a little prototype of how the animatronics need to work. Because these teeth look very, very strange to the original animatronics, what we know of. People were saying it could be Springtrap, but again, it's not very similar to spring Springtrap's teeth. They are very apart. So, you know, folks, I feel like he's just experimenting, um, looking for inspiration on what the animatronics need to be like, because like I said, folks, Gil is still writing the film. So, he doesn't even know what animatronics are going to be in the film yet. Obviously, the original gang are going to be, probably. But you know what I mean, folks. He's just experimenting. This is not the final verdict of what the animatronic is going to look like. He's just going to places where animatronics are just for experiments but that is just for my that is just my opinion folks that's what i think because a lot of people were saying oh my god this looks like crap look at all the decay on it look at what the teeth look like look at where he's placed the teeth look at all the the wax and the rubber attached to it it looks like absolute crap but i've told them that i think he's just experimenting trying to work with prototypes on what the final animatronics are going to look like because I think this is a great way to learn about animatronics and I think it's a great way to get the final animatronic looking fantastic. If Gil knows what he's doing thanks to looking at old animatronics then it's surely going to help him because a lot of film writers, guys and directors go to places for inspiration. So there you go guys, those were Gil's recent tweets and Instagram pictures. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't follow his Instagram, but he does do separate teasers on his Instagram. So I'll put his Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Lots of love, guys. I've, I hope you're very hyped for the film. And I'll see you all next time.